So I want to talk about this clip that's making the rounds on social media. Uh, so Ben Shapiro on his program is going to respond to what I'm assuming he believes is liberal hysteria over the prospect that the Supreme Court might target other really important decisions, might overturn decisions like Griswold v. Connecticut, Obergville v. Hodges, Lawrence v. Texas, Loving v. Virginia. He thinks that if you think that because they overturned Roe v. Wade that they just automatically start targeting other uh, high-profile cases— Sorry, you're stupid. You don't know the way that the Supreme Court works. Now, what you're going to notice is that as he goes on this rant, he's inadvertently going to make it very clear that he knows nothing about the Supreme Court and the way it actually functions. And he exhibits an almost childlike level of naivete here. And if I were him, I would be embarrassed. But this is a propagandist. So it's not necessarily about anything other than just disseminating what the Republican Party wants you to uh disseminate. So watch what he says here, and then I will tell you why what he's saying is silly if it isn't already apparent to you by watching it. Meanwhile, the, the Democrats are really trying to push hard, particularly the Democrats in the media. So you've got ABC's Terry Moran saying that this is that you never know what they might do next. What are they going to do next? My God, the Supreme Court, they, they might actually go back and overrule Loving versus Virginia and allow states to ban interracial marriage. Oh, really? That wasn't even based on the right to privacy, you idiots. That's based on the Equal Protection Clause. Wrong constitutional clause, you morons. And then they try to claim, well, they might overturn Obergfell. First of all, Obergfell is a bad Supreme Court decision. And if we had a Supreme Court with itself, they would overturn Obergfell. But they're not going to. They explicitly say, Alito says, I think three separate times in that decision that I read in nearly its totality on the air yesterday, that this has no impact on other cases of different lines, which is a clear reference to Obergfell repeatedly. Okay, but Democrats know that deep down in the cockles of their tiny little Grinch-like hearts on abortion, they know that the abortion issue is not a winner. So they're trying to expand it out, say, well, you never know. The Supreme Court, they might go after gay rights. They might go after. Mm -hmm. Sure, you're right. The same Supreme Court in which Neil Gorsuch idiotically ruled that the Civil Rights Act of 1964 covers transgender people is going to now overrule Obergfell. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, Terry, go for it. I don't know if he realizes how naive and silly he sounds. So the first thing that he says is that, you know, the reason why Democrats have to pretend as if this is really about gay marriage, a more popular issue, is because abortion is a losing issue. It's, uh, it's unpopular. Americans agree with uh, us, the theocrats. They agree with us. They don't agree with you. So what you're trying to do is really brilliant. You're trying to make people believe that because they overturned Roe, they're going to overturn Obergfell and ban gay marriages next. But nope, this is all just the distraction. Ben, first and foremost... Facts don't care about your feelings, bitch. This is not a losing issue for Democrats. It's a losing issue for you. A Data for Progress poll shows that there's not a single state in the country where a federal ban on abortion has more than 30% support. And that is not the only poll that gets this result. Every single poll shows that Americans actually agree that Roe v. Wade should not be overturned. So it's not speculation as a means of distraction uh, distracting people to think that oh wow the supreme court might target other civil rights that we've fought for years to achieve um it, it's just being logical because this supreme court is fucking insane and you would acknowledge why it's reasonable to deduce that they are going to target obergfell and griswold because this court is insane. And I love this line. So he says, they might actually go back and overrule Loving v. Virginia. He says this mockingly and allow states to ban interracial marriages. Oh, really? That wasn't even based on the right to privacy, you idiots. That's based on the Equal Protection Clause. Wrong constitutional clause, you morons. I honestly find it adorable that there are still dipshits in the country that are this naive, that think that the Supreme Court is some apolitical government institution. And really, they're above the fray in politics. They don't have biases like the rest of us. They don't impose their will on all of us and then find some legal rationale or constitutional justification for their reactionary rulings. Nope, they're strictly following the Constitution. They're adhering to some sort of judicial philosophy. You know, they really want to ban gay marriage, but they think, man, I can't because this precedent and this constitutional reasoning in that case is just so sound. No dumb fuck. They're going to do what they want to do and then they're going to say that it's because of this reason in the Constitution to dupe rubes like you into thinking that this institution has any legitimacy. But it doesn't. It's a nakedly political institution. And anyone who thinks otherwise at this point is fucking stupid. You are the moron if you think that they're not just political actors. 
Ben. I, I just it's shocking. But the reason why he thinks that they're not political actors is because Alito said so. Um, so they're not going to ban gay marriage because Alito says, I think, uh, three separate times that this has no impact on other cases of different lines. And you believe that? We're supposed to believe that because Alito says, oh, well, this only applies to Roe, that it's not going to extend to Obergfell. It doesn't need to extend to Obergfell. If they want to overturn Obergfell, they will. They will do what they want, and then they'll find the constitutional rationale for it somewhere. That's the way that they operate. That's the way that they've always operated. You want to know what isn't in the Constitution? Judicial review. The Supreme Court literally gave themselves the power to strike down laws that were unconstitutional. They gave themselves the ability to rule on laws and tell you whether or not they are constitutional or not. That's not in the Constitution, but they still have it. I mean, the whole fucking institution is founded on them just making things up as they go along. So you honestly believe that they're going to be bound by precedent after they just overturned 50 year precedent? I mean, Ben, you, you can't. There's no way that he believes this. And other Republicans are saying the same thing. So apparently they got the call. The talking points are in. Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley are saying the same fucking thing. They always say the same thing in unison. They claim that they're not going to ban gay marriages because, you know, that's popular and abortion is really divisive. So, I mean, again, I'm not sure if they're a hive mind and the mother brain is communicating the new talking points to them or if they're robots and the new talking points just got uploaded or if they all have like some giant group email and they get their new talking points daily and they all say the same thing. Look, I'm not knocking it. I think that this level of message discipline is something that I wish the Democrats would attempt, but they don't. They're all over the place. But you know, what they're saying here is disingenuous. They know that the peasants would revolt if they found out that we're losing a ton of civil rights and civil liberties that we fought decades for all at once. So they have to drip feed fucking us over. Otherwise, you know, we might uh, react in a way that is uh, scary for them. Who knows? Uh, but I love how the logic is it's not going to happen because Alito said so. Here's what they said about Roe v. Wade, Ben. I believe the Constitution protects the right to privacy, and I have no reason or agenda to prejudge the issue. Roe v. Wade is uh, an important precedent of the Supreme Court. It was decided in 1973. It has been challenged on a number of occasions, and the Supreme Court has reaffirmed the decision. When a decision is challenged and it is reaffirmed, that strengthens its value. Roe versus Wade, decided in 1973, is a precedent of the United States Supreme Court. It has been reaffirmed, so a good judge will consider it as precedent of the United States Supreme Court worthy as treatment of precedent like any other. As a judge, it is an important precedent of the Supreme Court. By it, I mean Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood versus Casey. Been reaffirmed many times. Casey is precedent on precedent. I do not believe that Brett Kavanaugh will overturn His precedents Roe are overturned all the time. They aren't overturned all the time. More he views precedent not just as a legal doctrine, but as rooted in our Constitution. Neil Gorsuch, for whom you voted, don't you think he's probably going to vote to overturn Roe versus Wade if given the chance? I actually don't. Roe is not a super precedent because calls for its overruling have never ceased, but that doesn't mean that Roe should be overruled. Now, yes, the overly dramatic music is cringeworthy, and I wish that they didn't include that, but the point stands that they all say one thing and do another, right? They all essentially lied. And what are you going to do about it? These are lifetime appointments. You can't hold them accountable. Imp impeaching them is nearly impossible, so they can do what the fuck they want. And so you're lucky that they even pretend to have some sort of judicial philosophy that they adhere to, but I mean, they're kind of just shedding away with the facade at this point, are they not? Uh, you know, uh, overturning Roe v. Wade is pretty big. It shows that they don't care about even being viewed as a political branch. They're political and, you know, they're okay with that. But people like Ben Shapiro think, oh, no, this institution is very sacred. They adhere very carefully to these judicial uh, philosophies that they learned in law school. Shut the fuck up. No, they don't. They make everything up. 
They make everything up, and you know they do, Ben. I know that you know they do. Ben Shapiro is saying stupid things, but I don't believe that he's dumb enough to believe this. They're making it up as they go along. And just going back to him saying that Obergfeld v. Hodges should be overturned, he's just casually admitting that he's a bigot. He's telling everyone, I don't think that same-sex couples should have the right to marry. That's, that's something that it's pretty bold to say in 2022, is it not? You're a bigot. Okay, well, fuck you. Nobody cares about what you have to say. I don't care that you think that Obergfell wasn't decided on sound uh, constitutional grounds. I don't give a fuck. What matters is we have the right, okay? And he wants gay marriages to be banned, even though he has friends like Dave Rubin. Dave Rubin is going to lose his marriage. I wonder what he's going to say when he hears Ben Shapiro go on this rant. You want to fuck over your own friends, Ben Shapiro? And the answer is yes, because he's a psychopath like the Supreme Court justices who will do anything to impose their theocratic authoritarian views on the rest of us. This is fascism, and every single good person in the United States has to resist it in any way that they can, because this is absolutely unacceptable. And if you believe them when they say they're going to stop at abortion, I've got a bridge to sell you. Wet, 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 ass, ass, pure, pure.